Hi, I want to make, um, I'm here to make a video. My name is Beverly and say hello to everybody and whoever might see this video and I greet you, my brothers and sisters in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our only hope, the one we love. And anyway, today is March the 6th, 2016. It's a Sunday. And um, this is concerning a dream that I had at 6.20 this morning. So in this dream, I was um, walking down the street with a brother in the Lord who I didn't seem to know him. Um, I don't know who he is, but in the dream I knew him. Um, so we were together and we saw a headline and the headline was like a newspaper and it said France is the first country to take the mark of the beast and then we were like looking at it and thinking like, what? Because you know how, you know, you might hear anything, but it, it needed to be confirmed. Like, is that true? So then we saw it again or heard it again from another source. And then, you know, it was like, it was like official, it was news. So after it was confirmed, we were like, you know, it was just a, a, just a bad feeling. And the bad feeling was because it was like, we know all this stuff is coming. And even for real, I'm telling y'all, we know in our minds that all this stuff is getting ready to start happening like the one world government the final blows to all of our rights um, and this the Antichrist and the one world government and people being forced. Most people won't have to be forced to take the mark of the beast, but for the people who are pressured into it and for the people, the true people, God's elect that will resist taking the mark of the beast. We know all this stuff is coming. We, we've read revelations. We, um, it's a book that's now being unfolded in terms of our understanding of it. So we see all these things. But in this dream, the reality hit me and the brother that I was with. Like the sinking feeling like we know it, but now here it is. We knew it was coming. Like even now we know it's coming. We see it. We hear it. You can even feel it. But when that first thing happens that really brings it home, when it's like here, when it brings it out of prophecy, brings it out of the future and into the now, what a feeling. I mean, come on, y'all, what a feeling. And that's how I felt in this dream. So we were walking down the street, and then it was as though it was a... Um, like in a movie, how they might like pan somewhere and pan back, and it's supposed to um, it's supposed to like signify the passage of time. So that's how it was. We were walking down the street, and then some time passed, and we we're walking me and him on a different occasion down that very same street, and it had been a few months 
in between us hearing that news and then uh, the next instant in the dream. And he pointed out to me that someone was following me or us. And I looked back and there was like a really blank faced big guy following. And I was really frightened. But <laughs> I, for some reason I chose to go back and confront the guy. So that didn't go very well. <laughs> But anyway, I woke up after that. So I've, I've felt it very urgent to make this video. And to make this video in a timely manner in terms of close proximity to my dream. Because, you know, what if this comes to pass that France is the first country to you know, make it official that, you know, they're switching over to the RFID chip or, and it's gonna be required and, or whatever. But in this dream, it was like we knew it was just a matter of time before it would come to America. Like I said, those few months later, then it was, that guy was following us in America. But um, France, the, oh, I was going to say, in the dream, it was not presented as bad news. It was breaking news. But it wasn't presented like some horrible, encroaching doom. Because people won't see the significance of the mark of the beast because they have no faith, because they don't believe the word of God. So I just wanted to make that video and keep it real short. Oh, and the other thing that I saw from that dream was the love that me and this brother had for each other as a brother and a sister. So at the same time, all this persecution and stuff is going to be going on. People who really love the Lord, true Christians are going to have a love for each other that you can't even imagine. I mean, true love, true love and brotherly love probably like they had in the Bible, but that was priceless. The, the connection and closeness that we had as brother and sister. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. There are, you know, God will still be good in the midst of tribulation. So that's it. And that was the point of the dream. And that was the headline. France is the first country to take the mark of the beast. So that's it. Keep praying and love the Lord with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. And someone pointed out the other day, no, as a matter of fact, I was listening to a sermon by Leonard Ravenhill. And he he pointed out something that I forgot and maybe even never really thought about. That's the first commandment. The Ten Commandments, that's the first commandment. Love God. Love him with everything that you are and everything, everything in you. And then Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And remember when he asked He asked someone who had asked him something. I can't remember exactly. But he said, what's the greatest commandment? He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart. And, and the second one is like unto it. Love your neighbor as yourself. And if you, if you do these things, 
you'll fulfill all the law. Because all the law is contained in those two commands. If you love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So anyway, I might have really got that twisted up, but that was the essence of what I was trying to say. Anyway, God bless everybody.